Hi, I'm Johannes Meyer. I work for Overducom as a trainer and a consultant. And in this video, I'm going to talk about piston plunger pump. And I'm going to show you uh, how they work and where you can use it for. Let's take a look and see how the piston pump is working. For that, I would like to show you something that probably everybody has seen before at the doctor or at the hospital. Maybe not so big, but maybe even bigger. I don't know, but you probably recognize this. Well, we also have that, of course, in something more difficult and industrial, and that is the rotating pump, the rotating piston pump, the axial piston pump, yeah, and that moves around and we can move it in all directions. And if I look at it, let's, let me pull this out. Yeah, it's, uh, there we go. There's a lot of parts, a lot of parts. And not only that, the pump also has more parts. For example, the plate with the opening for the inlet and the discharge. It looks all very complicated, has many ports to it. So with that, I think it's better to explain on the animation that we have. So let's take a look at the animation. In this animation, we see the main parts. We see on the left side, the motor, which is actually uh, spinning the pump. Then we see uh, the, in the middle, we see the pump housing. And inside we have the, the back plate and we have the pistons and we have the housing of the pistons. And all that is rotating. And now, and then on the right side, we, we see on the side view, we see the inlet port and the discharge port. But let's first take a look at the front view. In the front view, we see on the top part, we will have on the piston a small volume and on the bottom part, we have a big volume. Well, how does that work? Well, the moment we are actually pulling the piston to the left, so we're making the volume for the liquid bigger. That means it pulls the liquid in and then it moves up and the piston is being pushed in and it is pushing the liquid away. So we go from large volume to small volume. Well, for that we need to have also a good discharge or inlet and discharge separation. And we can see that on the side view. On the side view, we have two parts of the pump, inlet, discharge, yeah? And if we look at the left side of the side view, we see that the liquid is being pulled in. So that means on that side, we're doing a volume increase. So the liquid is being pulled in. And then on the right side, we see that the volume is being pushed away. And that is the discharge. So from low volume, no, from high volume to low volume, from low pressure to high pressure. That's how it works. So now we have seen how it works, but what are the applications? Now, one of the major application for an uh, uh, actual uh, piston pump is hydraulics. Why hydraulics? Because it is a small pump and it can do extremely high pressures. And that's what we want in hydraulics. Now, an example is like the trucks that we sometimes see in our neighborhood moving, you know, big loads of dirt and they either haul it or they bring it. And when we see it, you know, moving, it, the back of it can go up. And then we have these big, nice, shiny pipes moving in the back. Well, those are the hydraulics moving it up and bringing it back down. For that, of course, I mean, you can imagine if that back of the truck is completely filled up with dirt, you need a lot of power in order to push it up. Now, and an, uh, an actual piston pump can deliver that because they can deliver easily up to 400 bars of pressure. So it's, you know, very easy for this pump to do that. Now, of course, the pump is also very small and with that, it's also easily to be fitted on a truck. But there's also other applications. And for example, in airplanes. In airplanes, we also have lots of moving parts and they also move with the hydraulics. For example, this is a pump coming out of an airplane. 
And you see how small it is, and it's also lightweight because, you know, on an airplane we don't want to have very heavy, uh, you know, pumps and all that stuff. So, on the hydraulics in airplanes, also a very good pump, small, high pressures for it. And now we have seen two applications. Of course, there are many more, but if you have any question left, please leave your comment below and then, you know, we will get back to you on your question. But also don't forget to do the like and subscribe button. Yeah, and we'll see you soon again. See you, bye.